Hello, hello, how are you? I really enjoy Coding Train videos. Uh, I like watching his tutorials, so Coding Train. And uh, one of the tutorials he had was Quad Trees, and he made his uh, video tutorial code available online when you can play around with it. This specific uh, tutorial he had was about um, querying data more efficiently and in this case there's a bunch of points and these points are assigned to a specific sector on the screen and if the sector is overwhelmed with the amount of points in this case it's four so one sector can have four then the sector is subdivided into more similar sectors and then the points are added to this one so in simple terms there's one giant quad or rectangle it can store four items and if there's fifth item for example that we're trying to pass in then it's clear that there's way too much for this rectangle to handle and uh, we want to create more rectangles inside it just like like shown here and every rectangle can store the same n amount like four items in that case points and we can go infinitely down the tree for every every quad so this was fun to explain and uh, yeah i want to close that and i rewrote this in rust I made it work on this desktop application. So it's basically the same as you saw in the browser. I am drawing this uh, rectangle in the red and whatever is uh, inside the rec rectangle, we highlight that in red as well. So this is where the querying happening, right? So we query some sector and if the sector is within the bounds of that rectangle then we search for more sectors inside it and we give us or receive more points from that sector and we ignore all these huge points over there a huge amount of points in there let's uh, jump to code i want to briefly tell you how this thing is done so i am using macro quad uh, graphics library for for rust and uh, let's let's see so in case of javascript there's a setup function i don't have a sub setup function i have my trusted main so we define rectangle of a boundary just like in here let me actually make it more visible for you so what's happening we don't have to create canvas that's done by the library uh, background uh, skip that so uh, boundary rectangle is this almost the same code rectangle then we create a quad tree yep we've got our quad tree with four points that we could actually store inside that particular quad and its boundary is of course well I made it larger just for fun of it and uh, just like in here I do have some points which I insert into quad tree just like in here all right so that's pretty much it for for the um, setup function now uh, in the uh, macro quad of course there's eternal loop that we need to specify we clear the background black which is I guess done over here and then there is a quad tree show which is what I do as well you see the code is really similar because I literally translated JavaScript code into into Rust so we don't use these rect uh, 
whatever um, stroke modes all right uh, so and there's the mouse position right where does he take it maybe it's some global things that uh, his um, sketch st stuff can 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 uh, provide but uh, yeah I'm using macro quads means to access uh, X and Y and uh, coding train just shows the rectangle of it uh, I show it last so draw rectangle lines and uh, I show it in the color red oh yep I moved it and it's impossible to see so it's red and I'm drawing so whenever the mouse is down and uh, he he always does the querying he assembles with Q3 query range all the points that could be received from the entire tree which is what I'm doing as well and then I just iterate those and display it on the screen so that's fine and good let's actually see at the implementation of um, quad tree so I've got a bunch of uh, things uh, so as you can see uh, class point is literally the point struct struct rectangle is literally the class then for contains function I have to be honest I just copied this code from JavaScript and implemented that like a, a pasted that into Rust by removing this into self keyword I was able to make it uh, this mathematics function is literally tra translatable to other language so that's cool quad tree this is more interesting <coughs> so the constructor is a basic new um, implementation in Rust where I just create a new instance I give it a boundary just like in here and the size for the available points that we could store inside so just returning pre-filled information I did ditch divided false thing in favor of using a vector of possible sub uh, like sectors inside one rectangle because to be honest when the person was uh, implementing his code inside like on some on some stream on twitch he was literally prototyping fast right and he was adding these class members northeast northwest etc well I didn't do it that way <coughs> my code is literally the same but I'm just adding the quads to my to my list so this way I'm not using the divided uh, parameter or whatever and that makes my code a bit slimmer in insert point function so literally this is the same as uh, this portion is the same as JavaScript as if the lens uh, of points stored inside that uh, particular quad is less than capacity uh, it could actually store and we just add it in here and the return and if we have exceeded the amount of like capacity then we need to subdivide so if it's not subdivided uh, then of course we know that uh, it's zero length so we're not using divided uh, variable 
and uh, later on when we continue pushing more points uh, we just skip it because well there's already some uh, subdivisions uh -huh. and this is the place which actually becomes a bit more compact so here he is checking if northeast insert in my case insert point returns true then it's returning true if northwest insert point uh, in returns true then also we're escaping the function of course i found a way to make it a bit uh, slimmer in the uh, code uh, i just iterate over my quads with a mutable iterator where where the point actually fits into the quad so we've got four we've got four quads inside the current quad and we check every quad to see if a point could be inserted in there based on the boundaries of that quad and if we receive it if we have the quad if we received it because it's an optional thing we might not find anything then we return immediately the insert point result which goes over here and uh, well, you, you, you can see the pattern, right? It, it recursively checks if uh, there's still space for the current quad to store points. If not, well, we could subdivide it if there's uh, no subdivision happening and we need to subdivide it. And blah, 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 blah. And eventually it just returns false if none of these things happen. So that's that. Let me show you that functionality again. All right. So we step into the entire screen quad and we cast a rectangle bam. We know that we are inside here like by default. Right? We also know that there's four points could be stored on just one quad. We are searching for these points inside the boundaries by mathematics. We potentially found something, right? And then we go inside other subquads, which could uh, contain more points in some particular space and uh, blah 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 you get the point so for query operations it's the same right so I, I just described you a query operation uh, so i immediately check if this particular boundary like if this particular quad doesn't intersect with the actual red square that we work with so if if we are placing our rectangle here and this particular quad over here doesn't overlap with uh, with this red one why would we even try and query for stuff inside it it makes no sense so that's that we return empty array now then we start assembling the found points. We iterate over the points this quad currently has, which is just like here. If the so they iterate over points, if if the range of a current quad contains the point, then we add that to current found points and I do exactly the same. The difference is in Rust I return the reference to the point which which the uh, quad tree points to. So quad tree contains a point but I'm only getting the reference. 
and non-mutable reference. So that's that. And as you can see, um, there's this shenanigan again. So the person was prototyping really fast, faster than I did, faster than I rewrote this stuff in Rust. So he had this northeast, northwest subdivision of uh, current quad, so that there's four uh, rectangles inside the uh, current rectangle, right? But I am iterating again. If there's anything found in the current quad that I iterate over, then I just append it. And in Rust, I have to use mutable reference to whatever I have in here. So this is the point actually I am getting. References, like mutable reference to to a list of queries just in order to to be able to append that list of points to some other more global uh, on this current stack list. So this this actually allows us to get rid of that variable okay in Rust terms and store that information in found array and we just return it. And uh, the last part, uh, I didn't want to make the show functionality a part of the actual struct for a quad tree. So I made it into a trait. So I made the trait draw, which has show function. And I implemented draw for quadri and I made the show and I basically did the same stuff they had. I am drawing a rectangle. Drawing rectangle in line mode. So I provided the X, Y, W and uh, all everything that they did. Uh, okay, and I draw it in gray. And uh, I also draw every point that this particular quad or rectangle contains in the same manner. And of course, since I have quads, not just static four items that a rectangle could have, right? So a rectangle can have another four rectangles to split like vertically and horizontally, right? So I, I just show the vector. Okay, so that's the simplification I found. And this simplification actually works in a manner that if I for some reason decided to make this implementation uh, yeah, if I decided to make this implementation work in 3D, I would be able to just push more items into the same vector and iterate over those. So in 3D, that would be not quad tree, but oct tree, because in one cube you could have uh, four and four, eight cubes, right? Oct tree. So that's my little journey into Rust for graphics. I did implement this stuff on Twitch actually. I started streaming a bit and uh, I implemented this over the course of three streams, 40 minutes each. Every day, just a bit. So cool, I hope you liked this kind of video. Uh, it's always fun to follow along a tutorial and rewrite it in some other language with some other means. And I do hope you do the same. Cheers!